Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I'm uh, just going to fly around and take a look at some things and I'll mention a few things maybe as I go along. But uh, I wanted to make a special video at the end of the year here. And first of all, I need to apologize. Uh, I will be 80 years old in April of 22 and so um, the doctors say I'm in pretty good health. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, but that's what the doctors say. So <laughs> I should be around for a while. The only problem is um, I can't remember the doctor's name and a lot of other things I can't remember. So I have to apologize because I know there's people who are uh, regular to my channel and I've talked to them and they've told me where they live. And then I can't remember, you know, a month later it's gone. And so uh, that happens a lot. So I appreciate your patience with me and you're still watching my videos. And so anyway, this guy here, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but uh, he goes along and, and cuts a groove and then he <laughs> doesn't cut the groove and he's been doing that all, all along. And so I'm not a farmer, so I don't know why they would do uh, do what they're doing, but I'm sure somebody knows. It looks like maybe he's got something in that yellow box on the back of the tractor. Maybe he's putting down seeds or, or something. So anyway, I just wanted to apologize. And if uh, <laughs> if you notice that I can't remember your name or something like that, please let me know. Uh, and uh, I'll just keep trying to do my best. So <clears throat> with that, uh, this is a Merry Christmas video. So I thought I'd tell you a story about Christmas. <laughs> my Christmas story. My very first Christmas that I remember, I was in the hospital, in Children's Hospital in Seattle. And uh, I was there because my kidneys had stopped working. And in 1946, they didn't have any kid ma kidney machines or anything like that. And I was in a fairly small room. I think there was probably four beds and uh, it was all the children in the beds. <clears throat> and I call it the terminal ward because uh, we were all, you know, we got to make friends with each other. And they had us in these fairly large cribs. And uh, like <clears throat> I'd wake up in the morning and the bed across the way was empty. And of course, we all made friends. So I'd ask the nurse, I'd say, uh, where did so-and-so go? You know, uh, how come he's not in his bed? And they would always say, well, he went home last night. And of course, back then, I thought, well, good for him. I wish I could go home. <laughs> but what I didn't understand until I got a little older is going home was going to heaven. So uh, anyway, so uh, I remember Santa Claus coming in the door of the room with a big red bag on his back and a ho, 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 and a beard and all that stuff. And he was... Uh, walking around by the beds, and he gave each of us a little gift of some kind. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but I know it wasn't really a large gift. It was some little, probably a little toy of some kind. And um, so uh, it didn't, it, you know, the foot of my big crib was covered with toys because everybody thought I was going to die. The only reason I lived was because they shot me three times in the behind every day with penicillin, and I'm sure mostly it was because my grandmother was praying for me. But in the process, uh, I had all those toys, and I got really bad spoiled. So as we go along here, uh, uh, two years ago when my son was looking at this house before he bought it, this area right here was all green. It was uh, some kind of a farm field like you see the other ones around here. That was two years ago, so it didn't take them long to uh, fill, up, fill it up with houses. <laughs> Anyway, so that was my first Christmas, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was good. I enjoyed it, uh, getting a gift from Santa Claus. And then the next Christmas that I remember was uh, when I was six years old, and we, my folks lived in a little house, very small, and uh, it had a, a wood stove in the kitchen, and uh, there was a living room, and uh, there was a little hallway that went... Uh, down from the bedrooms into the living room and then there was a door that went from the kitchen into the living room and every Christmas we would uh, my folks would have us line up the oldest folks first and my grandma and grandpa were there and I'm sure my aunt Chloe and my aunt Janice were there and so we had probably about 10 people 
And so we had to line up, you know, the oldest first and the youngest last. And uh, I think my little sister was the youngest. And so she was, she might have even been, I don't think she was in diapers. But anyway, and so uh, when nobody was looking, she ran uh, over to the hallway and ran out into the living room because they had a big sheet hanging. You couldn't look through to see what the tree was, uh, what was under the tree until uh, until they said we could. But she took off on her own, ran into that room, and everybody was, hey, come back here, you know. And, and then she came running through the, through the, into the kitchen underneath the sheet, and she said, Kent, you got a, you got a bicycle for Christmas. <laughs> so I knew beforehand that I had a, a bicycle gift. And so that was uh, the, one of the Christmases that I remember. Then there's a lot of other good Christmases. One of the, uh, one of the, uh, uh, Christmases later on in life, I got I got a different bike. It was a three speed bike. That's when they were uh, uh, making them that way. Anyway, so uh, that's my story, and uh, I don't have time to tell you a whole bunch of Christmas stories. But what I want to do is just thank you for your support uh, throughout the year, and uh, the kind words that that uh, people have offered in the comments section. And uh, I always read all the comments because I appreciate what you have to say, and it means a lot to me. So anyway, I appreciate the fact that uh, 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 you do that. And I want to wish everyone that sees this video a very Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you remember the meaning of Christmas. That's when Jesus was born, and uh, he was just born as a little child. And he grew up, and he got older, and uh, as you may know the story, he was hung on a cross, and he died. And then um, three days later, he arose from the dead, which is the only person in history that has ever risen from the dead on his own, and uh, is still alive, and he's uh, up in heaven today, and I'm looking forward to seeing him one of these days. By the way, you see those cell phone towers there? It's interesting because one day I was I was wondering how does God know that? Uh, I mean, how do, how does He understand and hear all the prayers of all the people in the world that are going on at the same time? And He answered my question one time with a thought that man has made cell towers which handle thousands of phone calls all the time at the same time. And uh, so it's not too hard if if man can come up with a with a device that handles thousands of voices. Uh, why couldn't the one who made man come up with uh, or uh, not come up with, but be able to uh, hear every prayer of every person that's praying all at the same time? And uh, so uh, I don't know if he's got a cell phone tower up there or what he's got, but. He's able to do that, and he has answered a whole bunch of my prayers. And uh, so one of my prayers is uh, that, that he will bless, this is actually every day, he will bless every one of my subscribers and the folks that watch my videos. So um, with that, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, and uh, God bless.